Good morning, my wonderful students. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. So it's mathematics time and I want you to be ready to learn. So what is the first thing that we usually do before starting any lesson? Yes, we need to write the day and date. So I need someone to help Miss Muna and to tell her what's the day the day is monday and what's the date the date is april 6 2020 well done so everyone before moving to the lesson i have a challenging question and i want you to pay attention to what i'm going to say so how many days do we have in one week take your time Okay, I'm going to help you to remember or to find out, let me say. So, let's say the days of the week together. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So, we have seven days, right everyone? So, how many days do we have in two weeks? First, in the first week, as I said to you, or uh, in one week, there are seven days. So here we have two weeks. So seven days in the first week and second, uh, or seven days in the second week. So what is the answer? Fourteen. The answer is fourteen. So seven plus seven equals fourteen. Well done. So everyone, now... Prepare your papers and grab some pencils and let's read the title of the lesson. So, what is the title of the lesson? Subtract three digit numbers. Excellent. And we learned yesterday how to do this and today we're going to continue. So, everyone, by, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to subtract three digit numbers. Here's the mental math. Okay, so take your time. Don't be in a rush to avoid mistakes. Here is the problem of the day, and I want you, everyone, to pay attention and to find the pattern. Remember, we learned how to keep counting by twos, fives, and tens last, last week. So, everyone now here, click the link below and watch the introduction video about subtract three digit numbers. Here you have, um, you know, some work to do. There is task number one and task number two. So, it's up to you to choose one of them or to do all of them. Here what you are going to do is to subtract. You have two questions and here there is a game so don't miss the game and finally what strategy can you use to subtract three digit numbers so let's talk about this question so everyone look at this question over here and I want you to pay attention and to Notice that the great number is on the top and the small one is below. So, when we subtract, usually we start from the ones place. From the ones place here. Hundreds, tens, and ones. So, we start from here. Okay, everyone, please don't forget this. We start from here. So, let's remember the poem together. So, more on the floor. We need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more. So as you can see here, we can't subtract because uh, the small number is on the top. So we need to make it greater than, you know, this number. So what we will do is to regroup or borrow. We're going to borrow from the tens place. So number two will be... Okay, just let me use the tools. So number two will be 
one because we took one and added here and number four will be 14 so let's so now let's start so here as you can see 14 is on the top and 14 now is greater than 8 so 14 minus 8 equals 6 let's move over here so 1 minus 8 we can do this also because more on the floor we need to go to the next door and ask for 10 more so we're gonna borrow from here from 100th place so 5 will be 4 and uh, let's skip here or let me add it here so it will be 11 so 11 minus 8 now you can see we need to make if the number if if you need to pay attention if the number uh, or uh, the number on the top is small we need to make it bigger or greater so here 11 11 minus 8 equals 3 sorry for this this is number 3 and 4 minus 3 we can subtract because uh, more on the top no need to stop and as you can see here number four is greater than number three so the answer is one so 